Hi, it's just Sam. I thought I'd take some time just to do a few short five minute updates on some different topics uh, that I'm sure you'll all uh, appreciate. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit in the Bible is our helper and he's our comforter. Uh, he assists us. Uh, when, the, when Jesus was ascending, he, gave, uh, he told the disciples that go to Jerusalem and, uh, and wait for my spirit and my spirit will come on you and you'll be empowered to be witnesses into the ends of the earth. And it's the same for us today. We get that empowering the Holy Spirit inside of us and we get to go out and be his witnesses to people around about us, in our society, in our workplace. Uh, it's so important that we get empowered by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our comforter. He's our joy giver. He uh, is the one that saturates us with the presence of Jesus. He, uh, he gives us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. He uh, blesses us with the ability to pray in the Spirit and uh, kind of brings to life the story of the Gospel and it brings the Word to life. So the Word just, the Bible just isn't something on the page, but it's a living, breathing example in our lives. The Holy Spirit, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be your number one associate, ministry partner, friend, joy, comfort. Every single thing you need is wrapped up in the embodiment of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus wants you to have the Holy Spirit. And uh, he said that's why he told the disciples, go and wait in Jerusalem until my Spirit comes. Jesus had the Holy Spirit. If we need a, if we don't need a, a greater reason to have the Holy Spirit, it's because Jesus Christ himself had the Holy Spirit. And he had the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And in the Bible, he didn't perform anything miraculous until he had that empowerment and baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I want to encourage you, start to pursue, if you haven't already, the baptism in the Holy Spirit and the infilling of the Holy Spirit because that joy, that fullness of God needs to get on the inside of you and start to come out in your life. Joy needs to come out of your whole, uh, your wholeness. Your wholeness can be given through the Holy Spirit. So if you need healing, when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you can also get your wholeness and your healing and your restoration can also come to you because the Holy Spirit's a whole entity, a whole spirit. There's nothing missing or not there's nothing missing or nothing broken in the Holy Spirit. So I want to encourage you, pursue the Holy Spirit, pray for the Holy Spirit, ask God to give you the Holy Spirit, and uh, pray and seek Him. And, uh, and obviously expect that when the Holy Spirit comes on you, that He'll also enable you to pray in the Holy Ghost, to be able to pray in the Spirit, to pray in other tongues, and, uh, and just kind of worship in other tongues, and, and start to sing in the Spirit, and just worship and glorify Jesus. The Holy Spirit will always glorify Jesus, and He will never tell you something that's not already in the Word. And uh, so I want to encourage you, stay blessed. Stay pursuing Jesus because your breakthrough is found in Jesus. It's not found in a person or anything in the earth as such. It's found in the person of Jesus Christ. And He has the Holy Spirit. And He wants to give the Holy Spirit to you today. So God bless you and uh, thank you for listening and viewing this short, very short video. But I, wanna, I can't emphasize enough. You need the Holy Spirit to get empowered and to get equipped and to get moving in that realm, that glory realm that God has for you, you need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. So I just pray that, uh, that you would just really be challenged today to kind of get out of the normal realm and get into that supernatural realm and get on board with the Holy Spirit and partner with Him in life. So God bless you. Thank you.